Right guys, Jake Gandhi here, and I'm bringing you a football manager video. I'm currently managing Tottenham Hotspurs, and I hope to lead them to Champions League and Premier League glory. And here on the screen I've got the transfers, what I've done so far. Quite a costly summer, with a uh, spent 105 million. My biggest signing so far has been the signing of Leonardo Damiel for 41.5 million. He's, he's been a great signing. Heading, his main stat there is 16, heading, but his finishing has been very good, very, very good. And he's only 22 as well. And that price may be a bit steep, but, you know, you got to pay for quality. And also I've signed Alberto Peloshi for 3.6 million. He's another wonder kid who I believe can, can, can be a good player. His stats are fairly average, but... I have confidence in him to improve those stats. And then I've signed Jan Vertonghen, who is from Ajax for 12.75 million. He's been probably my best signing. He scores quite a lot of goals from corners, which is the corner glitch. And I'll show you that in a minute if you don't know what that is. And he, he's a good all-round solid player. And then next, I signed... Leighton Baines from Everton for 15 million and he's definitely an upgrade on Benoit Asirakoto and with Adebayo and Mabed Niang up front or Leonardo Damio who've all got good heading you want someone who can cross good and most of my signings can cross good with Leighton Baines there 16 crossing then Mabed Niang for 13.25 million he's another wonder kid 13 million very overpriced for a mainly younger 16 year old but he, he has he has the potential to be a key member for, for this team and in most of my other saves he's been a very good player and then next I've signed Willian for 10.5 million again he's, he's just a good all-around player and I've stuck to my policy of signing mainly young players but I think this guy is one of my best signings so far. He's overtook Bale in the team who have had to sell. I'll show you that in a minute though. And then my next signing, Lorenzo Christig from Inter Milan for 1.3 million. But that 1.3 million is just compensation because he's under 18, so I just offered him a contract and luckily he accepted. But he's a defensive midfielder, Lorenzo Christig. And he has the potential to be quality for this team. And he's already started in a few games because Sandro has been injured. And he's shown that he's worth any every single penny. He's been amazing. And then Eric Torres for 3.5 million. Again, he's another wonder kid. Who I think he's very versatile. Well, maybe he's not very, but he is. He can play in quite a few positions. And... He's just got good all-round stats and has the potential to be key for this team, as many of my signings do. And then finally, Simi Vizjako, the, the right-back who, and I'm sure you, if you're a Football Manager 2012 fan, you know about this kid. Absolutely amazing. Good all-round stats there, and again, key member of this first team. It, his potential's there, and he, if he works hard, he can get there, and if I give him the right training, he can get there. On the outgoings, sold quite a lot of key players here. Gareth Bale being the main signing, outgoing, sorry, to Manchester United for 22 million. And I just had to do it, as as I think Willian's better than him, Van der Vaart's better than him, Modric is certainly better than him. And maybe in my personal opinion, as in real life has inf influenced me but I think he's overrated so I've sold him got a good decent amount of cash for that but most of my signings are outgoings I've been loans as you can see Giovanni Dos Santos to Valencia Benoit Asuricotto to Inter Milan for 5 million which I'm surprised me Inter Milan coming in for Asuricotto because I'm sure they could do a lot better than him Scott Parker to Sunderland for a loan John Bostock to Millwall on loan, Michael Dawson to Malaga for 5 million, Pavlinchenko to Bayern Munich for 4 million, Danny Rose to Crystal Palace on loan, Thomas Carroll to Crowley on loan, Tom Huddleston to PSG 
for one million, which bit disappointed about to be honest. I think I could have got more for him, but the con the transfer had to be concluded reasonably quick because I needed to sign some other key players, and I needed to raise the funds. And unfortunately for Tom, he was the one who had to sell. And then, forgive me if I've said his name wrong, but Caduce Ayangu, Ayanga, so he's gone on loan to Bournemouth, and then Jake Livermore has gone to Birmingham for 1.3 million, and this guy has the potential to be a, a good player, but I just had to sell him. And then Andros Townsend has gone to Charlton, Carlo Cunicini has gone to Inter Milan for 575k, Aaron Lennon to Atletico Madrid for 5.75 million, and then finally, two loan signings, Harry, Harry Kane to Colchester and Dean Parrott to Brentford. And if anyone wants to work out the total net spend, leave it in the comments, but it's not that much, is it? About 60 million. And then, let's show you the tactics. Unfortunately, Raphael van der Vaart's picked up an injury in the last game, which was a disappointing 1-1 draw with Club Bruges. But, this tactic, I may have to change it, because I'm just getting overloaded in that centre midfield area. So, to, to, um, to cope with that overloading of the centre midfield, I've come up with this tactic, which is quite effective. Because you've got them three centre midfielders there who have the creativity to unleash Willian, who would be playing in the advanced playmaker role, attacking midfielder, and the two strikers. This is my last tactic, which I use it just if I need to get a goal quickly. But as I say, this is my main tactic. And then this is my corner glitch. You get the best... Um, a set piece taker, which in my case is Raphael van der Vaart, to take the corners and aim at near post, and then you get the best header of the ball, which in my case is Jan Vertonghen, and you get someone who's unlikely to win any headers, which in my case is Luka Modric, to challenge the goalkeeper. And if it works out, you should get a lot and a lot a lot of goals. So what else can I tell you about? Yep, fixtures. Fixtures and results. So far I've got off to a good good start. With in pre season I think the best result has been the six one win over Braga. Raphael van der Vaart got one there, Adebayo got two, Yunus Kabul got one, Mabe Nian got one, and to finish off, Aigol Falku got one as well. Sounded quite posh then, didn't I? Falku. But also, this Leighton Arvin win has got to be noticed. Adebayo, seven goals. Seven goals. That is quite amazing. And then first game of the season was a 6-0 win over Wigan. Which Damio got two. Oh, he's already proven to be worth the money. William got one. It has been quite a bargain buy, so you should get him. If you have got a save of Football Manager 2012, Adebayo got one, Jan Vertonghen got one, and Alberto Pelosi got the last. And then I had the Euro Cup fourth round qualifying. I won that 5 0, first, first leg. And then the second leg, I won that 2 0, I think. Yeah. 2-0, so that meant on aggregate I won 7-0. And then, notable mentions is the 4-0 win over Vasilu, Vasilui, however you say that. William got his hat-trick and Jan Vertonghen got one. This was in the Euro Cup Group C, which I think the draw has been quite, quite good to me in that. And then... I've gone on a bit of a bad run. I drew 2 2 against United, which, I, to be honest, I should have won. I was leading 2 0. And then United just come back. Gareth, and to make it worse, Gareth Bale got the 
got the equaliser. Quite, quite painful it was. And then my last game, which I did live comp, but unfortunately there was a bit of lag, and I had to delete the video. It was a one-one draw with Club Bruges, and I think the possession does does lie a bit. It was quite we dominated. Just look at the shots: twenty-seven shots on target, but we only had seven on target. That is quite terrible. And my upcoming game is QPR. So let's just continue. Oh, and that reminds me. I have signed Carlos Fierro, the legend himself, and for 1.3 million, which is just compensation, he will join on the 24th of the 7th, 2012. I cannot wait for that day to come. He's just amazing he is and I'm sure if you watch other football managers on YouTube such as the Supreme and Tim and uh, Total Team Talk Total Team Talk FQS you'll know about him quite well so what else can I tell you about yeah the I've decided to upgrade the youth facilities as they are not very good with Tottenham, and I want to start developing my own youth players, which I, I am I'm very much that sort of manager. I like to develop youth players. So, in this th this episode has just been a roundup episode of what I've done during pre-season and the first months. But from now on, I shall be going through the month and then live coming the final game of the month, which the next episode you'll see the results of the QPR game, the Bolton game, the Locomotive Moscow, Fulham game, Fulham game, and the Southampton game, and finally, I will live come the Newcastle game. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I apologise for it being not up to the usual standards, but you'll be seeing more videos, and hopefully, you'll quite like it. That's all from me. Goodbye.